In this video we'll learn how to import test cases from Microsoft Excel into ALM. Here's a sample test plan in Excel that we want to import into the test plan module. To do that, we will need to use the Excel add-in from the Micro Focus Marketplace. Let's download and extract the zip file. You'll notice that there is a 32-bit installer as well as a 64-bit installer, depending on whether you are running 32-bit Excel or 64-bit Excel. To find out which one to use, launch Excel and go to the account screen. Click the information button. Here we see that we are using 64-bit Excel, so we will run the 64-bit installer. During the installation, it may need to download and install some prerequisites to your PC. Once those are in place, the installation proceeds. Here we will choose the option to have the add-in installed for all users on this PC. To confirm that the add-in has been installed, launch Excel. You will see a new tab displaying the Micro Focus Excel Upload Add-in. If this does not appear, check your Excel macro and permission settings, the add-in may simply be disabled. Now we are ready to begin. Open the test spreadsheet that you want to import. Now click the login button to connect and authenticate to the target ALM project. Now that we are connected, we will create a mapping. This maps the Excel columns to the ALM fields. To do this, click the mapping button in the toolbar. In the mapping window, choose the test's entity. Uncheck the first checkbox. We already have headers in our data, so we do not need the add-in to create headers for us. Click the Auto Map button and give it the header row number. This will attempt to automatically map the columns in the spreadsheet to the fields in the ALM project. Here we can see that some fields were mapped and others are missing. We need to have a subject field and a type field in our spreadsheet data, because these are mandatory in ALM. Let's enter some dummy column mapping for now, and then save our mapping file. The mapping file will save our mapping settings so we don't have to do them all over again. Now let's close the pop-up window and add the missing columns to our data. First we will add a type column, and we will enter the word manual, in uppercase, as the type. The subject field in ALM is the folder path, so let's add a column in our spreadsheet. To make it easier to understand, let's rename the column to folder path. Let's enter the word imported tests as the initial folder path. Once we are satisfied with our imports, we can change it and add subfolders. Now we can go back to our mapping. This time click the Open button and choose the mapping file we had saved earlier. Let's finish our mapping by mapping the new columns in our list of fields. Let's also add the columns for the step name, description and expected result as well. Now with our mapping complete, 
let's highlight one or two test cases and perform a validation to make sure there are no problems with our data. Here the validation passed, so it is okay to proceed to import. If the validation fails, the add-in will highlight the problems in the spreadsheet, which you will need to resolve. The problems could be with the data in the spreadsheet or with permissions or fields in ALM. Now that the validation has passed, let's do the import. It looks like we have a successful import. Let's open ALM Client Launcher and have a look at the result. Here we can see the folder that has been created and the two tests we have imported. We have all the information in the right place, and the test steps are imported as well. Now that we have had a successful import, we can change the folder path in our spreadsheet to create the folder structure and test hierarchy we want. Once we've finished our edits, let's import the rest of our test cases and see the result. Notice that we have new folders and the hierarchy of tests that we wanted. So that is how the Excel add-in for ALM can be used to import tests into an ALM project. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.